Hey, this is Alex from Graysand. Installing a window is easy if you know the right process. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a typical aluminium window in a step-by-step -step guide. If there is only one tip you take away from this video, it is to make sure you install a quality head flashing above the window. I've included an example of one of the drawings I give to a sheet metal company to fold for me. The first step is to cut out the wall membrane and place the window into the opening. I then screw the window level and plumb into the frame opening. For a standard aluminium window with a timber reveal, I fix the bottom of the reveal to the frame first, then screw the sides to the frame using plastic packers behind the reveal to keep them straight. The timber reveal needs to finish flush with the inside of the lining, in this case it's 10mm drip rock. The fin of the aluminium window that the timber reveal is connected to needs to finish flush with the outside of the wall frame or slightly in from the wall frame as you can see here in the window detail drawings. Once the windows are securely fixed, I staple the bottom and side window flashings to the timber framing over the membrane and the top window flashing goes under the membrane. The next step is to install a metal window overhead flashing. I get the metal flashings folded to be the same colour as the window I'm installing. The flashings are made with a 3 degree fall away from the window to allow any water to drain from the top of the window head. The head flashing sits on top of the window and is nailed into the timber framing. The wall membrane is then allowed to come over the top of the head flashing. The wall membrane is then finished over the top of the metal head flashing. Here's the simple drawing I send to the manufacturer to get the head flashings folded. The next step is to install the cladding around the window. I measure the cladding size and see the flex at the side and bottom of the window flashing. I can then cut and attach the cladding to the wall frames. Once the fibre cement cladding is installed, the next step is to install the external trims. I add a Sikaflex bead onto the back side of the trims for an extra waterproof seal to the building. Okay, so that's basically all there is to installing a window. The only jobs left are to finish screwing the mitres together. I like to leave a 3mm space between the window flashing and the top of the window trim. Once the external trims are installed, I like to run a bead of Sikaflex along the back of the trim for one more extra weather seal. After the internal linings are finished, the internal architraves can be attached to the timber reveals. Okay, that's the end of the project now. Thanks for watching.